All right, so we are here, the Polite Pig. We've heard some really great things about this. This is where we're having lunch. Very excited about this. As you wait in line to make your order, they have a big window where you can see them seasoning and preparing all of the meat that is served here. I'm not sure if you can see this, but here is a look at their menu. They've got some shareables there, some salads. They've got a kid's menu. These are a selection of their main sandwiches, and we've got some smoked turkey BLT, the low and slow brisket, southern pig, and a fried chicken. I think from the shareable menu, Steve and I are going to do the slider trio, so we get to try a little bit of everything. We're going to share it. Um, so we're going to get the southern pig, low and slow brisket, and the fried chicken. And it looks like they have a good offering of market sides, included some roasted beets, barbecue cauliflower, side Caesar. And for dessert, they have bourbon chocolate chip cookie, a key lime pie, and a red velvet cake. And we've heard this from some of you before. Apparently, they have a huge bourbon selection. And oh my goodness, look at this menu. They have a huge bourbon bar. We don't even know what to order. Okay, so we have ordered. We scouted a table. They gave us a pager, so we'll know. Oh, our food's here now. So here is a look at my drink. I got the Polite Punch. This is blood orange moonshine, pineapple, and cranberry. Looks very nice, very refreshing. Here is a look at our lunch. We got, as I mentioned, we got the Slider Trio. I have to admit, I don't know which is which, but this comes with the Southern Pig, the Low and Slow Brisket, and Fried Chicken. Looks great. We also ordered a side of the barbecue seasoned fries. I didn't know these were gonna be waffle fries. This is awesome. And here is a look at the kids offering. Again, we got Caleb the pulled pork. So he's got a little sandwich here. He's got some waffle fries. His doesn't have the barbecue seasoning that ours has. So one thing Steve let me know, I didn't realize this, but the sandwiches, the sandwich is served dry, but across the way there is a whole sauce bar over there. You can top it however you'd like. Um, also, I forgot to mention, the, the french fries for the kids is a $2 upgrade. It's actually served with carrot sticks, but we know Caleb likes the fries, and it comes with the apple juice as well. Okay, so this is barbecue ranch. I know you like ranch dressing. This might be yummy for your french fries. You want to smell it? They're not french fries. Uh, they're waffle fries. <laughs> waffle fries. You want to smell it? Does that smell good? Yeah. Okay, I would suggest you try it with a waffle fry. Waffle fry. And then this is this is regular barbecue sauce. I think we put this on your sandwich. That'd make it yummy, right? It'll make a mess. It'll make a mess, yeah. <laughs> I eat that bun. You ate the bun? Oh, so that means we need to get you a fork so you can eat this, right? So Steve made it over to the sauce bar and got us a variety of sauces. Yeah, so this is their house barbecue. Okay. This is something called um, barbecue ranch. Oh. Which, Caleb's a fan of ranch dressing. Uh, we have the spicy barbecue sauce, which Mike is probably going to stay away from, but right. I'll try it. And this is a signature house one, which I do not recall, so I have to go back and figure out what it is. <laughs> okay. But we'll try it all out. Yeah. All right, so my polite punch is really, really good, but I had that moment when I took a sip. It reminded me of something from my childhood. Oh, gosh. It tastes like Nerds candy. Do you oh remember those? Goodness. It's really, really tart. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of sweet tarts as well. Really good, very refreshing. I like it a lot. Well, it's better than Jolly Rancher. That used to be your default yeah. flavor. <laughs> What's up, bud? Okay. All right, I know that Mike already brought this up, but I thought this was a huge surprise, which I'm a big fan of waffle fries. When it comes to fries, this is the way I love to do it. Always very flavorful. I love the seasoning that they have on top of it. Plus, you have the variety of all the different dipping sauces to really enhance it. And of course, he talked about the sliders. Those look pretty great. Pretty um, good helping as well. Mike and I have an early dinner tonight, so this is gonna be something we're gonna share together. I think that'll work out great for us. And then, of course, the whiskey selection is something to uh, admire here at Polite Pig. So I actually picked one of their actual Polite Pig single barrel picks that they have. So this is the Whistle Pig 10 year single barrel pick as picked by um, Polite Pig. So you know that their own, um, this is their own signature whiskey basically, uh, based on their own palate. Excited to try this. Okay, so I shared that we decided to do the shareable because we do have an early dinner that we're planning tonight at right. uh, our hotel. So I think this will be a nice compromise for just so, like yeah. quick, easy snack. So for sure. All right, so we're diving into the slider trio board, and I started with the fried chicken. 
and it's very good, very flavorful. The only thing I would like comment is I would wish the barbecue sauce was an option. It does come with barbecue sauce already on it. The slaw is crisp and nice and fresh. Again, the buns are really uh, flavorful. They're very doughy, and I think these sliders are pretty, pretty good overall. So I have gone ahead and I started with the Southern Pig. That's their pulled pork slider. It is so delicious. The pulled pork is very tender, very juicy, a lot of good flavor. Um, I didn't go ahead and add any of the additional sauces. I just ate it as is, and I think it's perfect just like this. Okay. The bun is very soft, very fresh. It almost reminds me of like brioche-style bread. And now we've got the brisket. Yeah, so it is a really thick-cut brisket in there as well. It does come with a pickle, so I know that Mike's going to want to take that off for his bite. Um, but overall, the flavor's really good. It's got a peppery crust on the outside. Uh, the barbecue sauce has a little bit uh, more of a heat than what I've gotten on the other ones. But this is a classic brisket uh, pulled pork, or this is a classic brisket sandwich. Um, I really like it. It's good. It's probably my least favorite out of the, out of the three, All but right. it does hold up very well in a traditional brisket sandwich. I just took a bite of the fried chicken slider, and I agree with Steve. It is covered in that barbecue sauce, but also I got a really big bite of the cabbage slaw, and it's very, um, what's, it's like pickled, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I got mostly that flavor, not my favorite flavor. I wish I could have had more of the fried chicken flavor. Yeah. The chicken is very juicy. It's cooked really nicely. I just wish I could taste it a little more. Yeah. And then as we mentioned, I think we mentioned, Steve I got did. one of the... So yeah, I did mention. So um, they had a very expansive list of whiskeys here, both uh, bourbons and ryes, uh, and also some exclusive like high-end things as well. But when I come to a place like this, I want to try you know their own single barrel, their pick of their own whiskey, just to kind of figure out what kind of palate they have. This is Whistle Pig 10 year single barrel uh, polite pig uh, bottle. So I'm very excited about trying this. So I obviously thought it was appropriate to get Whistle Pig here at Polite Pig. Why wouldn't you? So uh, overall, the flavor is really good on this. It's a rye, so it does come across a little bit spicier for anybody that's not used to rye. Uh, but this is actually pretty nuanced compared to traditional uh, Whistle Pig 10 year that I've had in the past. So I like the variety, and this is completely unique to this location. So try the unique stuff first. But to give you an idea, this is a kind of expansive whiskey collection that they have here at Polite Pig. I'm going to try to get a couple of different shots here just so you all can see. And here's the other side. Okay, he was a little reticent at first, but he did eat a pretty good lunch. So now he gets some dessert. What did we get? So we got a shareable for all three of us. We got a um, bourbon chocolate chip cookie. There's a lot going on in here. There really is. <laughs> but don't worry, the bourbon has been cooked out, so he's not gonna have any of that. So let's see. So it's got like that like rock candy oh, wow. chocolate. All right, let's see, let's eat it over the plate paper, okay, so you don't drop it. What do you think? Good. You good? good. <laughs> That's a discriminant palette, so if he says it's good, it's good, so I'm excited. All right, and that's gonna do it for us here today at the Polite Pig. That's right, and thank you for recommending this for us. Yeah. You definitely hit the mark for the whiskey part for me. I thought it was absolutely amazing with the variety, the selection, and of course, with that single barrel, I got the they pick themselves. You know, I'm not sure that barbecue is really like in my sweet spot for most foods. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't look to go out for it, but this is a good place to try, just be able to get the variety of the food that they have. And yeah. it, of course, right here, it's the middle of everything, so <laughs> it's a great offering. So, yeah, we did enjoy it, thank you. Definitely enjoyed it, highly recommend it. I like yeah. Steve said, thank you for recommending it to us. I don't think we would have checked it out Not on our own. We don't do too much dining here in Disney Springs, but I'm glad to do something different. Yeah, definitely. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and spending the day with us. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.